Hello everyone, this is Knowledge Topper and in this video we are talking about auditing that what is an auditing. I will explain you this with the help of an example so you better know about uh, auditing and uh, um, without wasting any time let's get into this. Like uh, if I start with an example like uh, you know there are a lot of companies like almost all companies receive a yearly audit of their financial statements such as the income statement balance sheet and cash flows so different companies prepare income statement balance sheet and cash flows so there are a lot of uh, people like uh, uh, stockholders or against the general public and um, different uh, bondholders that uh, they purchase the stocks and bonds of a particular company so there are uh, 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 a lot of lenders as well so lenders often stockholders lenders and uh, bondholders often require the result of an external audit annually as part of their uh, debt uh, covenants like uh, if the company is doing well or not uh, so they obviously looking for that particular information that uh, what is going on in the company and um, either company is uh, having a, a gain or loss and uh, what is the financial position of a company at a particular year there are a lot of companies uh, that requires uh, to have an audit uh, on annually basis so audits are sometimes uh, becomes a legal requirement for these companies due to the compelling incentives to intentionally misstate financial information in an attempt to commit fraud so there are a lot of companies that uh, misstate their financial statement just, just to show that uh, they are going well and uh, they are uh, going uh, on a uh, going concern basis and uh, they are very good so these kind of things helps uh, people know that uh, a, com a particular company in which they invest or in which uh, they are the lenders so they are the stockholders or they are the bondholders so the company is doing well so an audit is an examination like uh, you can say that uh, so let's take a very simple exam uh, very simple example like uh, you know there are students who prepare for the examination and uh, there are teachers who examine their students uh, and take exams uh, and check that uh, what is the position of a student at the end of the year and then they decide that and then a teacher decide that uh, this student got this marks and this student got this marks so they have a grading and uh, you can say that uh, different different marks that a student can gain so simply just relate to that example like what is an auditing you can say uh, instead of a student you can say there is a management and the management prepare for financial statement of a particular company like a student work hard and studied uh, different subjects and uh, then prepare for uh, final exams so uh, management uh, did their work and uh, there are accountants and auditors and uh, different uh, people involved in uh, financial statements uh, to prepare financial statements and uh, um, and very important uh, financials of a company and then there are people who, who's called an auditor who examine that uh, financial statements okay so as a teacher examines a student so there they, so there are auditor who uh, examine the financial statement uh, to show that uh, and confirm that a company prepare their financial statement uh, true and fairly okay so uh, let's get into this uh, definition so the term audit usually refers to a financial statement audit a financial audit is an objective examination and evaluation of the financial statement of an organization to make sure that the financial records are a fair and accurate representation of the transactions they claim to represent like if a company prepare its financial statements so an auditor make sure that the, their financial statement is not misleading okay so uh, the audit can be conducted internally by employees of the organization or externally by an outside like certified public accountant CPA firm okay so there are a lot of people that involve in a company and they want that the financial statement are not misleading so there are external audit as well for the companies and most companies uh, uh, wants the to have an external audit to make sure that there is no biasness in financial statements so uh, so this is what I have for you in today's video hope you learn a lot hope you understand this uh, we will make uh, types of auditing in our next video so do watch that video you will definitely understand more about auditing in that particular video so thank you so much everyone it's time to say bye bye 
thank you and do subscribe our channel if you like this video and you want more stuff like that thank you so much everyone